What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Smooth, and you already know what's happening. The best for the bang. And you see by the title, it's another lit video. In this video, I've been promising y'all for a long time. What we're going to be talking about today is the best fruits and foods for beard growth and hair growth in general. So basically, I'm going to give y'all a rundown on how this video is going to be set up. First thing first, you know what I'm saying? I got my notes sitting right here. Yes, I've been in my bag. Yes, I've been studying. You feel me? For y'all boys. So I got my notes right here. So best, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call out basically like the top foods and top fruits you can eat for hair growth that stimulates hair growth and beard growth. You feel me? I'm going to give y'all a straight up list so y'all can go choose what y'all want from the store. You know what I'm saying? Also, y'all can look up these foods and fruits and do your research yourself and see why is it good for hair growth. I'm going to tell you a little bit, but you can do further research. And then after that, I'm going to actually show you like foods that I got from the store that I'm going to be eating personally. So I, all these foods, I didn't get all these foods, but I know what foods I like and I'm really on some healthy shit right now. So I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to be eating and how I'm going to do my diet so y'all can follow along with me and do your own thing, switch it up. And make sure y'all stay tuned and watch the full video so y'all can see about what I'm going to be talking about. You feel me? But before we jump into this video, make sure y'all stop what y'all doing. Scroll down, hit that like button for your boy. Comment what you want to see next. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give me the uh, 9K, bro. On the way to 10,000, bro. Help me get there. But enough talking. Let's jump right into it. So first thing first, first food on the list is eggs. Eggs is like one of the number one foods where hair growth, beard growth, because eggs is filled with protein for one, and also it's got biotin in it. Now, biotin is like one of the key products in hair growth and stimulating your hair follicles, make them come alive. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I made different videos explaining like what biotin do. I'm gonna put, if it's an eye right there, click it. I made a whole video explaining biotin and what is it made for, where it's used from, where to find it at, how to get it naturally. I made a video on all that, so y'all check that out. But, bot, but eggs is filled with protein and biotin, so it's key, it's like the number one. If you do any research, you look up what's, what foods to eat for hair growth, that's the number one food gonna pop up is eggs. So if you want to, if you're an egg person or a dairy person, make sure you put eggs in your diet somewhere. Whether you eat for breakfast, dinner, or if you just open up a cracker egg and eat that bit, do it. Do what you got to do. But that's that. Number two is berries. This any berries like blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, whatever you like. The reason why berries is a good fruit to eat is because it's filled with antioxidants. And what antioxidants do is basically, it's basically like a natural a natural uh shield on your beard it's like it because your body is filled with different molecules like y'all y'all probably heard of they say yogurt got bacteria in it and stuff but it's actually good bacteria but some stuff in your body that's not good for like hair growth it uh, it stops hair growth you know what i'm saying some molecules some cells in your body is made to stop like hair growth and production that's why everybody ain't got hair that's why you ain't got hair like you know like if you look at your head you only got hair on certain places like you ain't got hair like on your forehead and your face, your you no, know, you do got hair in your arms, but you get what I'm saying. Like you grow hair like a lot on your head and your face, but maybe not. You get what I'm saying, bro. Like you grow hair on your head, but not like your face, face or like your arm. Even though you do grow hair, but not a lot. That's because it's certain like molecules and ce uh, cells in your body that's preventing that. So basically, what them antioxidants are doing is helping release them molecules in your face and help protect them from the damaged molecules that make sure your hair don't grow. So if you if you like fruit, if you like blueberries, raspberries, it's a positive for you because you're also gonna be growing your hair and your beard. No kidding. Okay, next on the list is spinach. For all my salad lovers out there, my vegans out there, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking out for you. Spinach is good for hair growth and beard growth. It's a leafy green vegetable that's filled with folate, iron, vitamin A, and vitamin C. Now, the key thing about vitamin A is vitamin A is like a natural oil, natural moisturizer. Like, you know how beard oil, you know how like your skin naturally got oil or your hair naturally got oil? That's the vitamin A in you, you feel me? That's when you eating vitamin A, vitamin A, that's what's going to create that natural moisturizer. So what spinach is going to do is automatically keep your hair healthy, your hair, ah, automatically going to keep your hair healthy. That's what it mostly, like, most of your green um, vegetables and green foods, that's what basically what they're for. And I didn't list all of them, but it's a, it's a whole list of them, like spinach, you got broccoli, um, zucchini, it's all, all, mostly all green is going to be kind of in the same category you know what i'm saying so i just put spinach out there because like one of the main ones you eat it with salad with different stuff so that's why the leafy green vegetables is good for hair growth and beard growth because it's filled with vitamin a so make sure y'all get y'all greens and eat y'all salads you feel me straight up all right next on the list i kind of put these two together but they're kind of different but i put fish and chicken together you know what i'm saying so for, so for my pescatarians out there my meat eaters my chicken eaters Yes, this is a blessing. It's good for your hair growth and your beard growth. And one, because it's filled with protein. But fish is kind of different. It's filled with omega-3s and omega-6s and a lot of fatty acids. And fatty acids is good for, like, hair growth. And this just make your hair. It's kind of like the same as a vitamin A, like with the moisturizer. That's what the fatty acids is going to do for your hair and your skin. It's going to make it more, like, it's going to make it more, like, 
like not clear, but it's gonna make it more. It's gonna give it more strength. That's like that's what it is. Like fat ass is gonna make it like hold more if that makes sense. And you can do your research. You know what I'm saying? Learn more about it. Like how fish and fatty acids help you with beard growth, hair growth, skin, all that. But that's why fish is kind of good. And chicken is because chicken is filled with a lot of protein and it's and it's kind of lean meat. You know, really any meat would be good. But I say chicken because like I told y'all in the beginning of the video, I'm trying to do on a healthier diet. But really any meat, whether you can do steaks, chicken. Anything that's filled with protein is going to be good. But protein is like one of the number one things in almost everything. Growing something, protein. Like you want to grow muscle, protein. You want to grow your hair, protein. Protein because it's just like a building. It's a building block. That's all it is. So the more protein you eat, the more, the more you, you know what I'm saying, going to build up your whole body. But the key, the key is, is try to eat healthier protein. So that way you can be lean and you can get a more cleaner look. You get a more cleaner cut and all that. So chicken and fish, including your diet, man. No cap. All right, next we got potatoes. And I ain't gonna go too much on it, but potatoes is filled with vitamin A and fiber, so it's good for your hair and good for strength. So potatoes, sweet potatoes, fries. Maybe not fries, because it's not a healthy choice, but potatoes in general. Like if you wanna do mashed potatoes or baked potato, clutch, you know what I'm saying? Throw it in your diet. Okay, next we got peppers. That's any peppers from banana peppers, jalapenos, red peppers, green peppers, all that. It's good for your hair growth because it's filled with vitamin C. Like I told y'all earlier, vitamin C got strong antioxidants and that basically like fight off all the, the molecules and cells in your body that's telling your beard to chill out. That's basically telling them, the vitamin C basically telling them to wake up and let's get going, you feel me? So any peppers you wanna eat, kudos, you feel me? All right, last but not least is nuts, you feel me? So it's like almonds, peanuts, anything, any kind of nuts you want because also it's filled with protein and vitamin E. So that's my list right now. That's my list that I got. So top foods. I'm going to put them in the description for y'all. Like, so if I, I know I talk a little fast. So I'm going to put them in the description so, so y'all can actually, I, I'm going to put them in the description so y'all can actually go check them out yourself and do your research. But now on to the next part of the video, I'm going to be showing y'all the foods that I got. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all stay tuned. I'll be right back. No kizzy. Okay. So I back my camera up a little bit so y'all can see my tape right here. Sorry about the background. You know what I'm saying? This way, nigga be recording it. You feel me? But. So this is this is basically like my diet. Of course I got more, but I just showed y'all like one of each. So we're gonna start off with the chicken. So this is the chicken I begin right here. You know what I'm saying? Just from Walmart, Kroger, any chicken. Just the tenderloins. I cut them up, season them, season them, and go crazy. And strawberries, of course. You know I said berries, good for beer growth. It's good for keeping your skin clear, filled with hella antioxidants. Get y'all strawberries, get y'all berries. Whether you like blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, regardless, get something. You know what I'm saying? If you got both, the more the merrier. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So peppers. I love eating peppers, so I got some green pepper. I got a green pepper and a red pepper. And I got some more, but you feel me? And some squash. Here goes cilantro. You know what I'm saying? Cilantro also good. It's also a healthy. It's a healthy, another green leaf it's filled with vitamin A. So cilantro and I got some grapes. So this is the basics. So now let me tell you how I'm gonna do this. So basically I've been meal prepping, you feel me? So what I've been doing is I've been cooking cooking my chicken up. I've been cook, cooking my vegetables and all that. And I also been eating rice with it too, you feel me? Brown rice. So basically with that being said, how I do it is Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, I, I cut up and I eat two meals a day. I eat two of these a day. And yeah, it might get boring, but I'm the type of dude, bro, like, when I want something from dedicated, I do it. I don't care if I had to eat the same meal. It's cool with me. So I, my chicken, my vegetables, my rice, and that's what I'm eating on a daily basis. And on the weekends, I like, no cap, on the weekends, I get what I want. But I try to keep it healthy, like, whether I eat Chipotle or Moe's, I ain't gonna go off the wall and get no pizza unless it's, like, a special occasion or, like, I'm at a party or a cookout or something. So I try to keep it healthy on the weekend, but during the week, this is what I'm eating right here. And strawberries, I eat these like throughout the day when I wake up. If I want a snack or something, I eat the strawberries and my grapes. And also I got oranges and stuff and bananas. Bananas is another good fruit because it's filled with potassium. And that's good for everything in your body, basically like your bones, your face, all that. So bananas, strawberries, grapes, really anything healthy like that is going to be good for you. And also another key thing that I didn't mention in this video, but I got to I gotta let y'all know. This like the key thing. This the key thing is water, bro. Make sure y'all drink your water. Cause what water gonna do is gonna filter your body out. 
all the stuff that ain't supposed to be there, all the stuff that is supposed to be in there, the water gonna keep what's needed and it's gonna flush out the BS. You know what I'm saying? Your body is 70% of water, so make sure you drink that water. It's gonna speed up your process. It's gonna help your hair look more healthier, make your hair look more stronger, make it look more darker. You know what I'm saying? So drink y'all water. Get y'all eat y'all vegetables and y'all fruit, man. If y'all eating nothing green, if y'all plates ain't green, then y'all ain't gonna be as healthy as y'all can be. Y'all beard ain't gonna look as good as it can look. But hopefully y'all got something about this video, man. Check the description if y'all wanna see what I eat. I'm put actually I'm gonna put like a schedule, like you know what I'm saying, my meal prep. And I'm gonna put all that in the description so y'all can copy what I do. Y'all can do your own thing, whatever, bro. But hopefully y'all help this help y'all out. Make sure y'all share this video. Leave a like for me. It helped me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Get me to 10K. Let's run it up. But enough talking. I'm out. Man, peace.